Thine is the glory, risen conquering sun. Endless is the victory, thou or death has won. Angels in bright raiment roll the stone away. Kept the folded grave clothes where thy body lay. <coughs> Thine is the glory, risen conquering sun. Endless is the victory, thou or death has won. Lo, Jesus meets thee, risen from the tomb. Lovingly he greets thee, scatters fear and gloom. Let his church with gladness Hymns of triumph sing, for her Lord now liveth, death has lost its sting. No more we doubt thee, glorious Prince of life. Life is not without thee, aid us in our strife. Make us more than conquerors through thy deathless love. Bring us safe through Jordan to thy home above. Thine be the glory, risen conquering sun. Endless is the victory, thou or death has won. Um, <clears throat> This actually is sung. Uh, hello, this is Sheba. Hello, everyone. Hope you all are doing well amidst the second wave of COVID. Uh, today, I was led to just sing uh, this song, which has like great meaning about the resurrection of God. We usually sing this on Easter uh, when the Lord is risen. And uh, his rising actually is a miracle. Uh, and that's because... You know, no God, no person, no uh, religion claims that their gods uh, have, you know, died and risen. But our God has died and risen because he's a holy God and he is God. So, and in his righteousness, he has conquered sin, death, and every fear of us. So, on this Sunday, uh, on Easter Sunday... Um, we sing this song in most of the churches in all the world. We sing this song, and it has a beautiful, beautiful meaning. Um, it just talks about Jesus, you know, uh, uh, revealed in full glory of both God and man. I mean, he came as a man on this earth, but then he revealed that he was God by, you know, pushing away darkness, by uh, re uh, by uh, resurrecting, you know, from death. And then also not just that, he went to Hades and then brought out the saints, it says. So, you know, in, even in his death, I was wondering the other day that even in his death, he uh, did miracle. And he did signs and wonders. And that was, you know, he was not just hung on the cross and then he died for three days. He was kept in the tomb. Nothing of that sort. In those three days, he went down to the uh, Hades, to hell, brought out all the saints with him. 
So, you know, Jesus, we have to rever and know his might and his power that he's all powerful. He's a great God. He's a good God. And he's a mighty God. And he's a God who will avenge the wicked. He is a God who will, uh, who's seated on the throne, who will do justice and who brings out judgment among everyone. So, among the wicked. So, um, and then just, I mean, seeing that his life, you know, walked on this earth for like 33 years, and then he uh, did ministry for just three or three and a half years, I think, and, you know, uh, and then showed to the world that, you know, trust in me, see me, believe me that I am God. He said that. So when even Pilate, when he, Jesus was taken before Pilate to be crucified, uh, Pilate asked, are you really the son of God? Are you God? And then he says, you say so. And even the high priest, when he says that, uh, he claims to be God. He claims to be the son of God. And he says, you say so. So, you know, uh, Jesus doesn't have to give a proof there, but by his works he did. And and I personally feel that, you know, we have that kind of powerful God where he will not, uh, he will reveal himself. He will reveal himself in a powerful way when we need him and when we want him and when the time is ripe and when the things are not going right in our life, you know, we can always count on him because he overcame sin, death and uh, lived an eternal life and he's going to come back, you know. He's not just God who's sitting in the heavens, but he's going to come back. He showed that. So there is an entirety of uh, meaning to his life, his birth. Uh, and I mean birth, life, death, resurrection and eternal life and then again coming back you know these are all like five stages so uh, we serve a God like that and I'm very grateful and I'm very thankful that I'm born a Christian that I know my God that he is there ever with me and uh, he will see me through all my battles all my worries all my um, everything everything that I want to submit to him so hoping uh, uh, is nothing but knowing that he will do things for us so I thank you one and all for giving me this uh, time to speak and sing also uh, I don't have a great voice but then I tried uh, I really was led to sing this song um, but uh, in any ways be blessed by this word and song thank you <laughs> 